Welcome to my ninth ever paper versus picture motion picture that is video. Today I will be taking a look at Slimer, the 1983 novel by John Bronsnan under the pen name Harry Adam Knight, and Proteus, the 1995 film based off of Slimer. This video will contain spoilers. You've been warned. Let us just dive right in. They are pretty much the same. Identical, even. With a group of six individuals being stranded in a raft after their drug-filled yacht explodes, they soon find refuge in an oil rig, and from there all sorts of bizarre shit ensues. Most of them have major differences between book and movie. Mark is the same. He's a heroin addict. However, he is the one who gets Paul into drug smuggling. Not Alex. Speaking of Paul and Alex, in the book Paul is the hero. Whereas in the movie he's the first to go. Alex in the book is an Hispanic asshole who has six sexual desires. Whereas in the movie he's a hunky cop who is undercover. With Rachel to stop these drug dealers. Speaking of Rachel, in the book her name is Raquel, and is basically a hard ass. She's tough, and a strong character, until she sees the horror firsthand, and becomes so terrified, she begins to scream. However, in the movie, she's actually pretty much the same, except she's blonde instead of a redhead. Linda is Paul's girlfriend, and is the heroine in both versions. She's a weaker character in both, but she is more clever in the book than in the movie. Christine is a bimbo in the movie, who has little to no personality, while in the book she gives Alex a blowjob to get heroin for Mark, which makes her a bumbling idiot. She only wants to make Mark happy, and when he tells her off, it breaks her. To be honest, more characters were unlikable in the book than in the movie. Dr. Shelley and his assistants and bodyguards have no personality in either version. Only Dr. Shelley has a fear within him that it shows. Doug Bradley plays Mr. Brinkstone, who I thought was the bodyguard in the book, but I could be mistaken. Anyway, here he plays the overseer and financer of the project. He must have been under some heavy makeup because I didn't even know it was him until I saw his name in the end credits. The characters in the book are more memorable, but for despicable reasons. Therefore, I'd have to give half a point to the book and a point to the movie. No one really gets killed in either version, more like absorbed. However, the few deaths there are seem bloodier in the movie than in the book. The effects in the movie are spectacular, too. However, the sickening sexual scenes in the book are haunting and definitely add something to the overall novel. I'd have to make it a tie between book and movie for the kills and gore. The book and movie both take place outside on the platform, and in the book it's short-lived, but the scene in the helicopter is tense, while in the movie it's an epic action-packed showdown, and it ends on the helicopter with a twist that leaves room for a sequel that's never happened. I'd give half a point to the book and a point to the movie. Both are gross-out stories that have a lot of similarities which I found to be a nice surprise. John Bronsonan, aka Harry Adam Knight, wrote this book, as well as Carnosaur a year later. The movie Carnosaur is much different, which I feared the movie to Slimer would suffer the same fate, but no. I enjoyed both the book and movie for Slimer and Proteus immensely. It's a tie between book and movie for me. So overall I give Slimer a 4 out of 5, and I give Proteus a 5 out of 5. The ratings will be different in the reviews because I'm not comparing the book and movie as much as I am just reviewing the book and movie when I do a video review on it. Thank you all for watching, and I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, leave comments, and subscribe! Superior form of life. Superior.
You're a fucking fish with a drug habit.